Hello. Um, today we are going to analyze another game. And in this game, it was probably the most outrageous one for me. Because I was already winning, and then this guy just, out of nowhere, uh, just played a very weird move. Well, not a really weird move, but he just won the game in a very weird position. And I was completely winning at the last maybe 10 moves, but then after I... I made a mistake, well, a blunder, by being greedy, and then I lost. So let's get. So e4 and then c6, d4, d5. So this is the Carol Can, and then he exchanges knight f3 and knight f6. I'm not sure if I should play knight c6 or knight f6. But I play knight of six, knight c three, and then bishop g four. Bishop e, I mean bishop e two, e six, and then bishop g five, bishop e seven. And okay, I don't, I don't think I should play this because well, I I feel like the pin has no effect anymore. So I feel like bishop f five is just better. Castles and then I castle knight h4 trying to win my bishop. I let him and then bishop b5, which was a inaccuracy. And it's probably an inaccuracy because you moved it twice and for no good reason. The best move was bishop f3, and it's probably because of g3 and then fan shadowing. Or just protecting. I also maybe making a way for the knight to come to g3 or f4. Or queen e2. There's a lot of possibilities. But he played bishop b5 and then knight c6, rook e1, and then a6, which is a inaccuracy. And then here Bishop f1. Okay, I don't really know why. And the best move for me was rook c8 instead of a6. Rook c8, yeah, okay, would be way better. Because it would be more active to defend the knight. And so let's just say this happens. And well, you can double and maybe even triple onto the c pawn and play b4 and b5 and just destroy him with all your pawns. You see, that's what will happen if you do this. But I didn't. Which is why I lost. Okay, that wasn't why I lost, but. Here's a reminder. And then Bishop F1 was a blunder. And it's because it loses to the move Queen to B6. Now he loses an ex. Well, a pawn. Either one is okay for me. I ended up eating the d4 pawn because he let me. And here, instead of playing bishop b1, he should have played bishop takes c6, which is pretty much taking advantage of what I like of my last move, which was a6. And then let's just run through the variation. Well, uh, god damn it. Let's go back. Bishop f1 and then bishop takes c6 was the better move. Bishop takes c6 and knight a4. Trying to maybe play c3 or a3. So, yeah, maybe c3 or a3, then play b4. So then you can put your knight to c5 and then beat him. And then I played queen, well, queen a5, I didn't play that, of course. And then c3, defending the knight, because white doesn't want to just go back. And then bishop d6, so it's putting it on a better diagonal, or it's more active. And, uh, well, black doesn't have to fear this at all, because now it's actually kind of bad, 
because king to g7, rook h8, and well, exchange just lost a bishop and well, lost a bishop for a knight, and also well, let him play rook h8 and start a start a kingside attack. <clears throat> So that's why you you can't play bishop takes f6, but instead queen c2, and then rook e8, bishop e3, and rook a b8. So now, well, there are chances that you can double. Small chances, but there are always chances. And also, hmm, we're not of ideas. Maybe I should have annotated it. No, it's way too late to annotate it. Uh, why? Why was this move good? Well, it's good because it puts on it on the B file, and that's all I gotta say. And B3, Queen to C7. Probably moving it back because there is no use anymore. Like, well. The knight is already protected, and the whole point of queen a5 was to pre well was to attack the knight. So then c4, bishop b4, and then all well, the variation is ended, and well, it's definitely better than what happened in the game. Like if you turn on the computer analysis, it's even plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.1. You get it. But after bishop f1, queen b6, and a rook b1. So, yeah, he let me eat the d4 pawn. So I took it with the queen, obviously. I don't want to get into some stupid, like, pins. And then bishop e3. And here he, uh, he kind of let me get a fork. It wasn't a fork exactly, but after queen takes d1, rook b takes d1, then rook fd8, and well, oh wait, he didn't let me get the fork, but a3, bishop d1, and then bishop c5, b6, and I just try to shove him out, and bishop d4 is better, way better. <laughs> like, he did all that probably just to annoy me. It didn't really annoy me. And then all of that just to play bishop e3. So let me fork again. Yeah, okay, bishop d... Bishop d4 was way better. But he played bishop e3, d4, and then knight e4. So, well, this move is dubious. Bishop takes d4. Just letting whatever is coming happen was better. But then knight, uh, knight to e4, knight takes e4, bishop takes d4, rook takes d4, which was an inaccuracy. I should have just used knight takes d4. Oh, okay. I didn't see that when I was playing. So if it rook takes e4, knight f3, and then you win the rook. But I use the rook to take. Wait a minute, does this mean I just lost? Well, I only gained one piece, but with rook take, with knight takes d4, I can actually get material. Uh, it's minus six. Okay, but here, like in the actual main line, it was actually also minus 5.5 .5, so well you know what I was thinking knight takes e4 and then bishop takes d4 oh come on bishop takes d4 rook takes d4 and then rook takes d4 knight takes d4 rook takes d4 and then knight f5 so I wanted to play bishop d6 knight d6 or anything like that and then rook c4 b5 just Annoying it. 
poking around. And then rook c6, bishop f6, attacking the pawn. He saw that, of course, and then knight d7. Rook b6, knight d5, rook c6, and king f8. So it was really hard to get rid of this rook. But also, if I get rid of this rook, I'll also maybe trap it. But then that didn't work because of a4. But what, it was also a, a dubious move. Better was... Ah, uh, stop doing that. G3, king e7, and then c4, bishop... Well, b takes c4, b takes c4. Well, bishop takes c4. a5, b3, a4, and... Alright, okay, well, this would be even worse, I guess. <laughs> well, then I would definitely win the game if this happened. But he played a4. And... Here, okay, it was pretty much already won. There was nothing about it that really mattered. But, here, something very sad happened. I played king a4. And then, h, h4, and then, you won't believe it. I took. And then, I lost. This turned from a minus 8.5 into a 0. And then, guess what I did next? King b4. Wow. Played way too quickly. I mean, this was completely won for me. Minus 8.5. And then it turned into a plus 60. You see how much I hate this guy? I guess I'll resign. And he made me lose a point. But actually, I'm not that mad about it anymore because if I didn't lose this game, I might have not gotten like fifth, well, tied for fifth. And there were some cheaters in the tournament, so. I might not get my money price anymore. By the way, it was only $33. And the entry fee was 100 So I got back one third if it, I could get my prize. And that would only happen if it may be one of the players that played a cheater would get. Well, let me first show you like what I should have done instead of king takes a3. Just bishop f2 and then, well, it's pretty simple after this. And see. Oh, right, bishop e3. Hmm, it's way too simple. What happens if you play this? Oh, oh. Yeah, see? This is just the thing about these stupid endgames. <sighs> they annoy you too much. But now. It's okay. <sighs> what do we learn? Don't do that. Like, these kind of end games are probably the trickiest. Because it was already drawn. I just had to play bishop h6. But then I let him do this. And then I lost the game. You see? I ended up crying because it was way too sad for me to not cry. I mean, I was completely winning. But then after, I think I won all of the games after that. Wow, I won. I got a five streak, five win streak, five game win streak. Okay. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, all the other players I played were <laughs> actually very low in rating, but I don't feel like they should have been that low. They're very good. Also, the first place was cheating. The fifth place was cheating. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Cheaters. Unless I played someone that was a cheater. I wish they were a cheater. Who knows? Maybe they are. 
an ICC can detect someone opening an engine. <laughs> that I don't think it's really possible, but I'll get money. Well, unless, of course, I already told you. Maybe, like, one of the more cheapest. And also, a really super thing that they did was that they only add 0 0.5 points to someone that you played that was a cheater. Which is what I don't like about it. Why? Like, there's no, there's no point. There's really just no point. <sighs> okay, yeah, I think I'm done now. Uh... Yeah, just play the London. Bye. Yeah, it's raining outside.